What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone. Oh, yeah, guys. So I've been doing some stuff off camera here. I have expanded out our farm. I got rid of all the wheat. We don't really need wheat. I don't know why I was still growing it. Uh, yeah, I got rid of the wheat and I tilled the soil around. I made myself one of these iron mattocks. I've had this in my inventory the last couple episodes. Yeah, so you can till the ground with that. You can use it as a shovel. It's like a hoe and a shovel combined. So yeah, I tilled all the ground around here and I have planted carrots everywhere. So we are growing carrots. Cool. So carrots seem to be a pretty good food source. Um, yeah, you use a juicer on them and it's almost fills up most of your hunger. A good portion of your saturation is not bad. We'll probably upgrade to something better that completely fills up everything at some point in the future. But for right now, I think they're pretty good. Uh, yeah, I did smashy smash a bunch of cobblestone down into gravel. And we have the in a barrel, which is feeding into this hopper, which is feeding into here, which is doing the things. And we have a lot of stuff made so far, which is great. So like we got a stack of the aluminum ore. Cool, yeah, so we got all of this iron. Look at this, we got four stacks of the iron ore gravel now, which is pretty awesome. We got eight diamonds, we got eight emeralds, we got a decent amount of coal, getting lots of flint. I'm not sure what we can do with this. I know some mod packs have a thing where you can make compressed flint. That is not in this mod pack, so I don't know if that's a thing. You know, speaking about compressed, uh, people have told me in the comments that there is such a thing as a compressed hammer. I don't know if that's a, I haven't even looked at this yet. We're doing this together. Uh, I don't see, maybe it's not in this mod pack. Maybe there's another mod pack where that's a thing. Let's just search for hammer. Maybe there's a lot of tinkers hammers down here. Furniture mod hammer, gold hammer, iron hammer, stone hammer, wood hammer. Yeah. I don't think there is a compressed hammer unless I'm missing something. doesn't look like it. Anyway, people are saying if you have a compressed hammer, you can hammer like compressed cobblestone and do like nine things at a time instead of the one at a time so that'd make things go nine times faster so that'd be really awesome i don't think it's in this mod pack though unless i'm searching for the wrong things you guys let me know in the comments down below speaking about the comments down below thank you very much guys for your comments on the previous episode i tried my best to go through and read those comments when i have time to do so there's a lot of comments there um so yeah i make my way through them i try to reply to a good fair few of them so yeah, thank you for your comments, like I said, and all your wonderful likes and support on the video, guys. Really makes my day, puts a smile on my face seeing a lot of you guys really enjoy this mod pack. I'm having a lot of fun too. But yeah, guys, let's get into it for today. So we are going to be doing some stuff here. I have a quest with the unclaimed reward. This is from killing mobs. Yes, we finally killed enough of these spirit things. We're five into the next one. Uh, yeah, that's going to give us a full heart and a reward bag. Let's choose one. Speaking about reward bags, we also had one we claimed from the last episode. We never opened it. We have two basics. Let's open these. So we got Batwing, Molten Core, Frozen Core, and the same thing twice in a row. That's awesome. And we're going to eat the heart. So I have not been eating these hearts simply because I'm used to <laughs> playing Agrarian Skies mod pack for Skyblock style mod packs. And in Agrarian Skies, you need to have like 90 of these hearts, or I can't remember, or something ridiculous like that. Where are they? Were they down here in this chest? I don't see the hearts. I have extra hearts somewhere that we were saving and I haven't used yet. I'll find them later. I'll use them. We have like six lives remaining, I think is what that said. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Um... Yeah, we're collecting a lot of resources right now, which is great. We're up to nine diamonds now. So, yeah, we're slowly getting those diamonds that we needed. I'm perfectly happy with this. I did upgrade this chest to a gold. I'll probably upgrade it to a diamond now that we're collecting extra diamonds. That way it can hold a lot of stuff. Uh, there's mods. I don't know if it's in this mod pack or not. There's mods that will take items that can be compressed, like if they are uh, can do like two by two or three by three in the crafting grid. It'll convert those into like the compressed versions like this stuff. Uh, if that's in this mod pack, I'll start looking at that and then we can start automatically combining these things. And then we can look at automatically smashing these things, or I guess running them through the automatic camera is what it's called. What is that thing called? Like a packager? I can't remember now. I'm looking recipe packager, auto packager. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's this item right here. I think this does take RF. Oh. Uh, we can make one of these and check it out together. It's been a minute since I've done one of those. Let's do it. I think we have the resources 
We'll go ahead and do that. What else do we need? We need a crafting table and three pistons. Do we have enough wood? We should have enough wood. There's some cobblestone. We need some more redstone for those pistons. We need some iron for the pistons. I think we should have everything together. Let's make ourselves a crafting table. Let's go ahead and split these apart so we can make our pistons like so. Clicking the wrong things, but it's all good. It's all good. We'll put some iron all up in there. We'll put some redstone all up in here. There's our pistons. What are we? Oh, I just had too many resources. Okay. We did make three of those, so that's all good. Uh, so it's that. Plus that. Oh, I need to make the other thing. Let's not get ahead of myself here. We need to make one of these. That goes there. This goes here. These go here. I can't remember. What was the rest of the recipe? Iron. We don't have the extra iron on us. Here we go. Auto packager get. Nice. Okay, so we have the auto packager. How does this work? Current mode, 2x2, two two, then 3x3. Three three. Right. So this will take items, I think, in the chest. Yeah, it takes items from one chest and puts it into another chest. We'll take the items from here and we'll put them over there. Anyway, no, this will take the items from one chest and then if it can compress them in a 2x2 two two grid, you'll place them on the chest next to it. I think this does require power. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see on the tool tip at the top there, it says auto packager 0 out of 32,000 RF. And I think you shift right click to change it. 3x3 three three hollow. Oh, that's cool. 1x1 one one only. We probably want 2x2, two two, then 3x3, three three, or just 2x2 two two only. So we're going to need another chest to see this thing actually work. Let's strong box. Do we have like a better chest? Well, not necessarily a better chest, but one that isn't necessarily a strong box. Let's just make one of these. Okay, so we will try that. And then we need to give it a little bit of power. Mm. Let's steal this for a moment. So yeah, check it out. It is taking the items from this chest and trying to combine each one of those into a 2x2 two two crafting grid and moving them over to the other chest. That is really, really awesome. So as eventually what we're going to end up doing is have our automatic sieve well, I guess just like this, but this will be like all in the permanent location. We'll have an automatic sieve, getting some stuff from probably an automatic camera that's going to be smashing cobblestone into gravel. It'll be putting that stuff into a chest with an auto packager next to it, and it'll be spitting it out into an AE system or into the smeltery or I don't know what we're going to do. But yeah, that is really, really cool. I just wish we had more power set up for all these different things. So probably what we should look at today. Let's we, we started into power last time, right? Oh, I put a barrel here when I'm just collecting lava, by the way. Uh, we started into power last time. We made a couple of lava generators. I've been told that that was probably one of the worst ways to make power, and I should have made the thermal, the magmatic dynamo. This. This right here. Apparently, this makes 120 RF per tick, whereas the generators we make only makes 40 RF per tick. But this requires invar, which is nickel and iron, which we did not have before. So, I don't know. We didn't have to make those generators since we had this photovoltaic cell, I guess, since this is pretty much providing all the power we need to do the sieving. Um, so, yeah, we got lots of stuff, like, all over the place. Yeah, we're going to be making use out of that packager for sure. Uh, right now, I don't think we're going to get much use out of it since it needs its own power supply, and we really don't have, like, power infrastructure set up. Give me this chest. Give me that torch, too. Uh, so for right now, we're just going to let all the ores collect in here like we have been doing. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, let's look at making more power and getting some other things. A way that we started power earlier on in Infinity Evolved was Immersive Engineering, which is in this mod pack. And I was looking through the quest book. Yeah, we have Immersive Technology right here, which kind of is a clue. So this wants us to make an engineer's manual, and if you follow the path down, we can see water wheel stuff down here. Now, the water wheels we can set up to make, I think, 88 RF per tick. I think that might be configurable in the configuration. I don't know how much this thing makes in this mod pack. It might be the same, might be more. I don't know. Anyway, I want to make some water wheels, I think, or at least start working down towards that way. Um, I've heard that the... What are these things? The windmills make a decent amount of power. I've never made those before. So yeah, let's start here. So engineering manual wants us to make this. That's our first step into um, immersive engineering. Couldn't think of the name of the mod for a second there. All right, so this is a book and a lever. Super expensive. I don't think we're going to be able to afford it. We got books right here. I don't think we have a lever. Let's make a lever. 
I don't know why I just pressed escape. Give me the stick. Give me the cobble. There's a lever. There's a book. There we go. Engineer's manual. So, oh, did, so that's a detection task. Now we have to do a crafting task. It wants us to make a hammer. I think it was already on the screen, wasn't it? Engineer's hammer. Yeah. Okay. So two iron, two sticks and a string. We can't afford this guys. This is madness. Actually, my string is up here now. So, oh yeah, we need one iron. Cool. So stick, stick. Oh, was it two iron? It was two iron, wasn't it? And only one string. All right, let's grab one more iron. There it is. Engineer's hammer. We did it. We beat the game. All right, so that's going to give us a chance cube. Let's choose the one on the left. This is a basic reward bag. I hope it gives us the same thing we got from the first two. It didn't. It gave us amazing Technicolor glasses, which is amazing. And the Technicolor, check it out. Woo! <laughs> All the colors. Anyway. I'm not even sure what those things are used for. They're just kind of silly looking. I think they do have a use, actually. <laughs> I don't know what that use is. Anyway, we'll put that away for now. Um, so back to the quest book. We were going to do some stuff here. Powerhouse, that sounds awesome. Unnamed quest. It's an unnamed quest. A Qbit cluster level five. What the heck is this? Quite, quite bit? Cube, what, huh? I don't even know what you are, sir. This seems expensive. Yes, this is expensive. We need four of these things plus these are amplification crystals, which are diamonds each and dark stone. Dark stone sounds expensive. It's not cobblestone stone and black. Okay, whatever. So the level four requires three or <laughs> to get a level four requires four of the level threes plus more of these amplification crystals. This is too expensive. We are not doing this. Not yet. No, sir. Let's not go down that path. This is the expensive path. Small big reactor. Well, you know what? This is still beyond us. We don't even have any Yalorium, I don't think, so we won't be able to do that. Hemp seeds. Do we have industrial hemp seeds yet? I think we might. I think we might. I don't think I have ever grown hemp seeds before in this mod pack. Or, I guess, in modded Minecraft, I should say. Let's grab the rest of these. Okay, so what does this want? Four... Oh my goodness, we only have three. My goodness. And we don't even have any bone meal anymore, I don't think. Anyway, we'll take half a stack of these bones. We will bone meal the grass. We will smash the grass with our fist, get smashed. Let's not, let's not <laughs> break the torches. So eventually we will get ourselves one more hemp seed. Was that it? We did it. We beat the game again. No, we got the, our other hemp seed, which will allow us to progress a little bit further. What does this want us to do with that? Nothing. We're just going to get another chance cube and a reward bag. Let's choose the one on the left once again. Uh, basic reward bag. <laughs> That's a third one. Dang it. All right. Uh, let's continue on. So we have that Coke oven. Yes, we need the Coke oven in order to make creosote. The creosote is going to be used for making the stuff for the water wheel and the stuff for the uh the thing the windmill i can't i can never think of the name of that for whatever reason uh so we need coke brick times 14 let's figure out how to do this so coke bricks are made by regular bricks and some clay and some sandstone so sandstone you can make by putting sand in a two by two crafting grid right Maybe somewhere. Can I? Where's the regular vanilla sandstone? This one? Okay, there's the recipe. So, yeah, two by two sand turns into sandstone. Now, I'll hit backspace so we get back. All right, so then we need bricks. We need clay. All right, that gives us two. So, we need to do this recipe 17 or 17, <laughs> seven times. Uh, and that'll give us 14. That's something we needed, right? Cool. All right. Well, let me go ahead and start making some clay. We'll start smelting. Do we have any clay left? We have two clay balls, and I think that's it. We should have dust, though. We have dust. We can put dust into these oak barrels. Oak barrel plus water plus dust equals clay. Let me go ahead and do that. We'll make some clay. Yep, then we can break the clay apart. Smelt the clay balls into brick. 
and make this. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just going to take a minute for me to do this crafting stuff. Let me get to it, and we'll be back, guys. All right, guys. So here we go. Here is seven of the crafts. Give us two each. That should be 14. Got it. Do we do it? What? Oh, it wants us to craft it 14 times. That's the second time the crafting task has gotten me, guys. That's the second time that has gotten me. So we need to make a total of 28. <sighs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. I, that's how I wanted to spend the rest of my day is just making this stuff all day long. That perfectly fine. I'm just kidding. It's not that bad. So we'll just put 28 more of those things in there. We will grab like four more of the coal and do this. Get smelted. We just got to wait. This furnace takes forever. <laughs> I could spread it out and do multiple furnaces at the same time, but I'm lazy. The furnaces are put away. I took these all down. It's fine. We'll just wait. I'll read some more comments or something in the meantime. We'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, we're back, and we got the other things ready to go. Here's the other 14 <laughs> that we need to make. So hopefully that fulfills this quest. There it is. Nice. So that's going to give us three bottles of creosote oil. A chance cube, and we're going to choose the one on the left once again, because today is the left reward bag day. Open it. Amazing Technicolor glasses. We already got that. Let's put those away. Right? We already got those. Where are they? I don't see it in my... They're right here. Found them. Yeah, we got two of those now. That's awesome. Okay, so we have the Coke brick, so we should look at setting up the Coke oven. Now, I was reading through the comments, like I said, I was going to do a minute ago, and people had pointed out that I am saying this wrong. It's photovoltaic, not photovoltaic photovoltaic okay so it's a photovoltaic cell essentially a solar panel we'll probably just call it a solar panel uh another thing people have pointed out or said suggested that i use is a heat generator this is from mechanism yeah i don't know anything about mechanism i didn't even know this thing existed there's probably a lot of things in this mod pack i don't know exist uh but yeah thanks to your comments i'm learning Okay, so that's three iron, an osmium ingot, two planks, two copper, and a furnace. That is relatively inexpensive for something that's supposed to produce a lot of power. I just got done smelting down some osmium ore dust. Apparently, you cannot put this in the smeltery to double it. You can only smelt this for one to one. All right, so we got eight of those. I don't know how many of these we're going to make. We're probably just going to make one to test it out. We need copper. I don't think I've smelted any copper yet. In fact, I am fairly certain I have not. Let's take nine of these over to our... Yeah, we'll take nine of these over to our smeltery over here. We'll get these going. We'll make two blocks of copper over time. Get smelted. Okay. Anything else of note on this thing? We need the furnace. We just need two copper ingots. I think that's it, right? All right, well, let's go ahead and get everything all put together. So apparently this thing is supposed to produce a lot of power if you surround it with lava. Sounds pretty cool to me. I like passive energy generation like that. Uh, so we will put that there. Was it two iron? Three iron along the top. Got that. We need two planks, a furnace. I think we have an extra furnace somewhere around here. We'll find it here in a moment. I'm going to have to farm some more trees. We're running low on wood. Uh, furnace. There's one. Okay, so furnace plus two planks. And then we're just waiting on the copper. And then we can give this thing a go and see how that works. I think the copper should be about smelted by now. Hopefully it will be. I hate running back and forth. I probably should have used... Well, no, I was going to say I probably should have used like the... Um, what is it? The path blocks or whatever from MFR. I don't even know if Mine Factory Reloaded is in this. It is. Uh, there's path blocks, I think, or concrete or anything like that. But you can run fast around, but I don't think you can make them into slabs and still get that same effect. I've never tried Anyway, so we got our copper right here. Let's go ahead and pour out two blocks worth of copper real quick. I really should get around to making those translocators. It makes this process so much faster. But we only got to wait for the one block to harden up real quick, and we'll pour the other one and continue on with what we are doing. Get poured. That'll be ready for me next time I come back over here. Okay, so we need to break this apart, get two ingots, and then we can finish up making the thing that we're going to make. There's that. There's that. Two of those. There's a heat generator. Okay, so we're going to figure this thing out, and I don't know how we're going to tell how much power this thing's making or whatever. Uh, let's see. So we got some lead. All right, let's do some stuff here. So we're going to make some flux ducts. 
And we're going to make the leadstone ones. And the reason why we're going to make these is because they can transfer 2,000 RF per tick per connection, which is not bad. I think this was nerfed severely <laughs> in Infinity Evolved. Uh, 8,000 for the hardened, 80,000 for the redstone, and the resonant do 320,000 RF per tick, which is, I believe is 10 times their normal. I could be wrong. Anyway, that's a lot of power. Leadstone is all we need. So to get six of these, we need six redstone, two lead, and a piece of glass. Two lead. Are we, are we out of redstone? No, how are we out of redstone? Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to sift some dust to get us some redstone. Let's do this real quick. Stop doing the gravel. Is it nighttime? No, the sun's coming back up. It was nighttime. All right, so as soon as this happens, we will get some more redstone. <laughs> Once we get that redstone, we can make this item. I guess we can make these power pipes. So we can transfer energy. Oh my goodness. All right, well, while that's going, we can try. So I think I said we need lava on four sides, or it can be surrounded up to four. Maybe it can be five, like underneath it. I don't know. But we're going to set this little fella down. We're just going to check it out. So that's cool. I guess we can pull power out of the top. Hopefully it doesn't have to be out of this specific side. Uh, let's get some lava over here. We need a bucket. Uh, where's our buckets? Right here. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's grab four lava. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's producing power. Does it say how much? It doesn't say how fast it's producing it. Hmm. Obviously, this is not safe because we have exposed lava around. It's not, it shouldn't set anything on fire, I don't think. But that's making power just by having lava next to it. And I don't think it uses the lava. So that's pretty awesome, in my opinion. Uh, do we have redstone yet? We have one piece. That's all we needed. I'll do the rest of this later. Okay, so we can get the six pieces of redstone. We need one piece of glass. The two lead. Where, there's the lead. Glass. Like so. Cool. So, unless that thing's making more than 2,000 RF per tick, I think we're fine using this particular setup. Uh, oh, does that not connect? Well, I took a few minutes here, guys, and I tried to figure this thing out. It looks like you can connect the leadstone flux duct to this one side right here. It's got the yellow on it. There's like a little black dot or whatever on this side as well. So, you, it kind of looks like an output for items or whatever, but there's no items this thing outputs. Anyway... It does connect to the side, so I have lava on three sides and below it, so we still have the lava touching four sides. If you right-click on this guy, we get a little inventory here, and you can put buckets of lava, which will fill up this tank, so I assume we can pipe lava in if we wanted to. Yeah, and then I'll also use lava to generate power. I don't know why you'd want to do this. If you can just set up a whole lot of these that are passively generating power, I don't know why you'd want to pump lava into it. Anyway, I haven't figured out <laughs> anything about this yet. I haven't tried experimenting maybe it produces a ridiculous amount of power with the lava around it too I, I honestly don't know anyway so we have the power wire connected here to the bottom of our automatic sieve yep we could also put like uh the cable facades or I, whatever those are the covers on top of this thing so we don't go down a little bit when we walk on those wires but yeah that's one way that we can have this thing hooked up that's pretty cool that we are producing 45 hour per tick automatically now even at nighttime. So that means this thing's working all the time. We don't have to wait for daytime. It goes a lot slower, obviously, but it still works, which is pretty cool. Awesome. So uh, we wanted to look at the Coke oven, right? I have never set up the one from Immersive Engineering. I was just taking a moment also to see how this thing is set up. And it is a little bit different. So in Railcraft, the way you do this is you do like a 3x3 three three base. And then you have to do hollow like so and then you do a solid cover but in immersive engineering it has to be completely solid right so it's a three by three by three solid in the center so when you get something like this you take your engineer's hammer and you right click in the center boom coke oven done awesome so now we have an interface here so we can put in coal and that should do something without requiring any power it'll turn it into coal coke after a certain amount of time and i believe it gives us half a bucket of creosote for every operation it does 
Now, the reason why you'd want cold coke is because I think it lasts longer in the furnace. And I think you can also use it for a blast furnace for making steel? Question mark? Maybe? At least that was the purpose of making cold coke previously. Well, I guess with Railcraft installed. So let's try this. We'll put a stack in here. Yeah, we got the little light. It's doing something. Looks like we have a change in the icon on the front. It takes it a while. I don't know. It's like five minutes, 10 minutes per piece. Something like that. It takes a while for this to happen. But yeah, it looks like we can put a stack in here. We'll get a stack back out. And then we have a huge tank inside. Now there's blue and orange here. I don't know what this is about. That's input for something, output for something else. I don't know. Oh, the little thing goes down as it works. I see. Okay, so maybe it doesn't take 10 minutes. Maybe it takes about one or two minutes. Anyway, it's going to take a while. We're not going to sit here and watch it because looking at an inventory screen for that long, don't want to do it. There's our block of copper from earlier. Awesome. Okay, so we got that set up. Uh, what is our next quest? Blast furnace. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So this wants us to make blast bricks. And below here, we have treated wood. And this wants us to make treated wood planks. Let's check this out real quick. The closer we can get to the water wheels, the happier I'm going to be, I think. <laughs> so we're going to do it this way. All right. So we already have three bottles of creosote and that'll make us 24 treated planks. I think we're going to do this because that's pretty easy to do. We already have the stuff. We Do we have the wood? Do we have the planks? I need to grow trees, guys. I said it earlier. Uh, where is the creosote? I put it up somewhere. I'm looking. I don't see it. Did I put it in this one? I didn't. Oh, it's right here. Found it. I'm just blind. Okay, so we'll do this and this. One of those. We should have this quest complete. The third time it got me. <laughs> okay, so we need to do this recipe 17 more times. So I definitely, definitely, definitely need to uh, grow some trees. Oh my goodness. I need to start looking at this thing. I'm glad it gives me that percentage there and just doesn't say it's not complete. Yeah, this crafting task though. Okay, so we need a lot more wood. We need a lot more creas. So we, we are going to have to wait on this for a minute. The blast brick. Let's check a look at this. This might be something we can do. Okay, so we need blaze powder. We should have that. We need more brick and we need nether bricks. We need nether rack. How can we make nether rack without going to the nether? Can we make nether rack without going to the nether? I don't know. Uh, I think there's a way, actually. If I remember right, I think there's a way. Like, you click redstone onto a bucket of lava from X Nihilo. I think that's what it is. Maybe. Let's see if we can do this. We don't have the redstone right now. So that's going to be an issue. Let's go ahead. Yeah, let's start this up. We will start processing that dust. Let's look at making a stone barrel. All right, so that's just stone plus stone slab. That is pretty easy. Just take a stack of this. And that, like so, like that. We'll make six of them because we can. All right, so there's six stone barrels. Uh, I guess we'll just kind of set them over here. All right, so there's that. Let's grab some lava. Oh, I don't have any buckets on me. Five buckets. That should be good. All right, so lava, lava. Whoop! Oh, I thought it was automatically swapping it out. It is not lava, lava, and lava, lava. <laughs> okay, one more. All right, there we go. So now we need a little bit of redstone. I believe that's what we do is we click redstone on there. We haven't got any redstone yet, really? Come on. Oh, this thing is now starting to charge back up. Okay, so it was kind of going a little bit slower. Now it's going almost, oh, it should be going max speed right now. Well, at least as fast as it can go with our current setup. Uh, Yeah, we're waiting on redstone. That's going to take a minute. Let's wait for this to happen, guys. We'll be right back. Make sure that we can, in fact, Get nether rack this way. Otherwise, we're going to have to set up a portal to the nether. I hear there's scary stuff there. The book says it's not that bad. If we go, where was it? This one. The book says it's not that bad, so it's probably going to be the worst thing ever. 
Anyway, let's wait for this to happen. We'll be right back, guys. My goodness, guys, it's being stingy. We finally got one piece of redstone, but we've been, like, waiting for a long time now. It's getting close to nighttime. So anyway, let's click a piece of redstone on here. There we go. There is a piece of netherrack. We did it. We did it. So we just need a bunch of redstone to come through, and it's not happening anytime soon. There's a piece. We got another red. Got another one. Another nether rack. All right. Well, that's one way to get it anyway. Uh, it might be a good idea to go to the nether, just set up the portal, go there, mine a bunch of the stuff, and then we're good to go. I don't know. But yeah, guys, we're going to wrap the episode up here for today. We'll worry about that next time. But yeah, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.